Kerner's model wear box serves to eliminate grease and oil from the surface of pickling or other pre-treatment baths. The components of the mobile bath purification system are delivered on pallets. We see the wear box with the submersible pump and two carrying rods, the container for collecting the filtrate, bag filter with carrying rods, the hose and the tubing material made of PVC. Please check the parts list. The bag filter can be fixed by means of two carrying rods on the rim of the collecting container. Install the ball valve, which is equipped with a hose nozzle, at the drainage opening. Insert the carrying rods into the guiding of the wear box and lock them at the marked positions. The three-way ball valve equipped with hose nozzles is already installed. As well, check the lock of the mobile wear. Install the customary power plug connection for 400 volts and 50 Hz at the loose end of the cable. Remove the cover of the motor, switch on the pump for a few seconds and check the sense of rotation. If necessary, Change the phase sequence and attach the cover again. The PVC tubing material for the return line has to be cut according to the width of the tank rim and the maximum liquid level. After debouring and cleaning the interfaces, glue has to be applied on both sides in order to fit the single pieces together. Heat the end pieces of the hoses and fasten them at the hose nozzles with the help of pipe clips. From the three-way ball valve, one hose leads the bag filter, the other one has to be connected to the return line. The return line leads to the opposite front side of the pre-treatment tank. After slightly lifting the slides to flood the wear, the wear box can be dipped into the tank and lowered until the carrying rods rest on the tank rim. Close the side again, open the two eccentric rods and lower the wear plate until the teeth of the wear are just immersed. Check the position of the ball valve in order to have a flow towards the return line and switch on the pump. Watch the liquid level in the wear box and make sure it doesn't drop too low and the wear doesn't float and tip over.
The liquid level is supposed to be right below the teeth of the wear. Oil or grease that has accumulated on the surface of the bath flows alongside the tank towards the wear and is held back in the mobile wear box. The pump remains in operation until the surface of the bath is clean, which usually takes about 10 to 20 minutes at most. When the cleaning of the bath surface is completed, the pump can be switched off and the eccentric locks on the wear plate are opened. Now the plate will float. Lock the plate again and change the position of the ball valve towards the bath filter. In order to minimize the volume that has to be filtered, a share of the water on the bottom of the box can be pumped back to the return line first. Attention! Hold on to the carrying rods when draining the wear box since the box will start floating. By lifting the box on one side it can be drained almost completely. Now the mobile wear box is put down onto the next tank rim and the process starts again. The filtrate can be led to a pump sump or back to the pre-treatment tank. The grease remains in the bag filter. After disconnecting the pump and emptying the wear box, it can be cleaned by means of steam depth cleaning. <laughs>